Uh, what the lawyer said. Andrew Tate is out of jail soon. Update. That has been leaked by Vice in regards to some old rape accusation that supposedly happened in UK are eligible to be used against Andrew Tate in the investigation that is taking place in Romania. Based on the information that is available to the public and after reading the nine page legal document that is the reasoning behind the judge's decision to keep them under arrest for 30 days, we can conclude the following. There are six victims and four suspects in this case case. Andrew Tate, his brother Tristan alongside two Romanian women are the suspects of course and all of them are facing charges related to three times human trafficking and the establishment of an organized criminal group. Now only one of the four suspects is facing charges related to rape. Now let's discuss a little bit about the rape charges and what evidence they, and it's not his lawyer, by the way, fake news. they have so far against him. So it seems that so far the only evidence that has been presented to the judge by the prosecutor in regards to the rape charges is a witness statement which alone is not enough to convict. In in fact, the judge said that he requires further evidence in order to move forward with this charge. If there is further evidence available, I would assume that the prosecutor will present them to the judge on January 29th because that's when the 30 days arrest period expires and the next decision will be taken in this case. Now for the human trafficking and the establishment of an organized criminal group, we know that there are three types of evidence presented to the judge by the prosecutor. Number one, the witnesses statements, which is the most common type of evidence, but this alone usually is not enough to determine whether the suspects are guilty or not. Number two, the psychological reports of the victims. Now I've heard that those reports have been made outside of the investigation by the victims and have been handed to the prosecutor afterwards. State lawyers are claiming that those evidence should not be accepted, but the reality is that since those psychological reports have been created by outright psychologists, they can be used in this case. Number three, the conversation that took place between the suspects and the victims through the mobile applications. They do not- Which was all debunked. It was all consensual stuff. The stuff that people keep saying, can you react to the text? Can you react to the text? It was clearly them flirting with each other and that's not incriminating at all. Indicate which type of mobile application, but I assume it's about WhatsApp, Telegram, Messenger, or anything related to that nature. I'll be totally honest with you guys. Based on the evidence that they presented so far, I don't feel like this is enough to convict them. But what is very important- You don't feel like, that wasn't very lawyer for you to say that, that was some merged female shit. <laughs> Big Boss says, it is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. I desire only to know the truth and to live as well as I can, Socrates. And you know who else got locked up for telling the truth? Socrates. You know why they, they put him in jail? For inspiring the male youth and making them think. Same shit that's happening to Andrew Tate right now. ...to understand is that the prosecutor can actually have a lot more evidence which he hasn't presented quite yet. That could also be one of the reasons why Tate's lawyers didn't get access to the case files yet. This is actually a common practice in the legal system in Romania and it's possible because we are in the investigation phase. The reasoning behind not giving access to the defendants to the case files could be so they don't compromise the evidence or influence the witnesses or their statements. Let's discuss a little bit about the next main event. The next hearing will most likely happen on January 29th because that's when the 30 days arrest period expires. Now what will happen is that- Chad, should we do a, a peaceful protest outside in Bucharest on that court hearing day? Make sure it's peaceful one more time. And this is asked to me like by people from inside the camp. Any protests you do, we're not Black Lives Matter. We're not going to be looting. We're not doing anything destructive. I really appreciate everybody in Athens, the free top G thing that we did at uh, Fresh and Fit. All the protests have to be peaceful have to be peaceful, not BLM. We're not gonna go loot, riot, burn shit. We're not the woke left. That the prosecutor will come forward to the judge and will propose one of the following security measures. Number one, keep them under arrest for an extra 30 days. Number two, keep them under home arrest for an extra 30 days. Or number three, give them a pretrial conditional release, which implies that they are not going to be allowed to leave the country and they will have to sign some papers once or twice per week at the police station. My prediction is that the prosecutor will propose a 30 days arrest extension because I feel like he didn't have enough time to gather all the evidence that he needs. And as promised, now I'm going to tell you if the audio video evidence leaked by Vice in regards to the rape accusations are eligible to be used against Andrew Tate and his brother in the investigation that is currently taking place in Romania. And the short answer is no, they can't use this evidence against him in this specific case. Now I won't go into much details about why, but I would mention that it has to do with the lack of territorial jurisdiction and from my knowledge the deed is already prescribed. And guys, if you want to get access to quick updates in regards to this case, Here make sure...